Hi, I'm Bruce and welcome to my Baptronics uh, Mountain Lab here in Colorado. Today I'm looking at a uh, Hitachi V665A. It's a 60 megahertz scope. Um, this is a computerized uh, scope. A lot of the controls are run through a little microcomputer. And um, you get a number of things displayed on the front panel, like in this case uh, we get the the uh, volts per division and uh, the voltage between these two um, uh, segmented lines. In this case, we're at 0.2 volts per division, and it's saying we've got 1.2 volts between those uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 divisions. So 6 times 0.2 would be 1.2. Makes sense. It says that we are also um, uh, running at 1 microsecond per division. And uh, if we trace out from the center of the scope here one full cycle, we see that we cover two divisions, so we must be running 500 kilohertz. And um, I am, in fact, uh, running 500 kilohertz off of this uh, PTS 500. And uh, we're going to make that on. So nice clear trace. Um, some good information on the screen. Uh, we can change the vertical. It's nice and clean looking. And we've got focus control, no problem. Intensity, no problem. Um, We've got two channels that we can work with, uh, channel A or B, uh, right now channel 1 or 2, I should say. All right, we've got the input on channel 2, and uh, we changed our source to from channel 1 to channel 2. We adjusted our trigger level, and there we go. So we are also working on channel 2 quite well. Uh, we can run dual mode, nothing on A right at the moment, but channel 2 has a signal. And um, we can change channel 1 or 2's vertical positioning, no problem. Let's see. We can go AC or DC on the inputs. Right now we're not showing any difference because we got an AC signal coming in, but um, we can change the slope. So I can change my uh, my input frequency. Like there's 1.5 megahertz. Um, there's one. So we're getting uh, one cycle per division right now. Uh, here's two, three, four. Here's uh, 14, it's 20. Now obviously we don't see the trace here, so we're going to expand the uh, time division. So I just hit the rocker switch over here, and you'll start to see that it's it's coming in the end of view now. Give ourselves a little more intensity. Yeah, just touch the focus, make sure we're good. And there we are right now, that's uh, that's 20 megahertz. We can take her up to 60. That's 60 megahertz right there. So the unit looks very nice. It's clean. There's little, if any, uh, dense Mars scratches on it. Little chip in the plastic right about here. Same thing on the corner, little chip. But basically, unit's in nice shape physically, looks decent, has a good uh, good intensity uh, on the display, plenty of, plenty of light, so no problem. Uh, the basic functions all work well. 
so you can get from 0 to 60 megahertz uh, easily displayed on either channel vertical uh, is working fine trigger levels working good so for the basic functions of the of the oscilloscope it's going to work fine but um, if you wanted to take a look at the uh, the be delayed uh, some of the fancier functions that are available normally on this thing got a little problem here because the function switch which chooses the um, the various functions it it indicates that it's working but um, but when you go to change the variables you see that it really it really doesn't it um, it maintains the same display as if I was in the first measurement position so there's something wrong with the logic uh, involving this switch in the computer and if somebody wanted to spend the time to try and figure that out um, then they could make this thing work if it be every, every function that it should have had would be for perfect <clears throat> But as a basic oscilloscope, <clears throat> you've got your vertical, your horizontal, everything works fine. You've got the indication of the, um, uh, the time per division right there on the display. Uh, it tells you the um, number of volts per division vertically. That changes and works well. So the basic, uh, basic functions of the scope are good. I'll also be providing a... Uh, uh, service manual and a user manual for the Hitachi V665 on CD. And an example of it's on the screen right now. You can see the service manuals here. And if I uh, zip down to the bottom, you'll see that there are circuit diagrams. So you have plenty of reference uh, for attempting a service on this unit. And then we also have um, the user manual. Which will guide you through all of the, um, the functions and um, capabilities of the unit. All on the CD. CDs are lightweight, they're easy to pack, so that's why I'm providing it here instead of in paper. So happy bidding. Thank you for listening. See you again.